Hi guys, happy weekend. So since hindi ako maamunta sa workshop ko kasi I'm not feeling well, um, mag magagawa na lang ako ng tutorial on how to determine kung gaano kadaming materials ba yung kailangan mong bilhin sa isang project. So my next project, uh, itong dollhouse na ibibigay ko sa aking daughter para sa kanyang birthday. So this is a wooden dollhouse. So, at gusto kong malaman kung gaano ba kadami yung board na dapat kong bilhin prior sa pagpunta ko sa hardware at makapag, para makapag-costing agad ako. So, I'm using Vision 360 here. So, the first thing that you'll do is to create a new design. Um, save it. Cut this. Med medyo intimidating sa unang pag-aaral ng bagong CAD software pero once na ma ma maaral mo na medyo nakakatuwa na siya after that you will import your design on the new file that you just created there you go and after that we will just unlink this tatanggalin lang natin yung link para hindi maapektuhan yung tunay nating file do sa actual design so it's still loading. Let us wait maybe seconds, 15 seconds, 10 seconds. I don't know. So, para sa akin, napakahalaga nitong step na to. Para hindi ka na mag-manual counting. Ano mo yun? Kung ilan ba talaga yung kailangan mo. Oh, and it's done. Okay. So after that, we will create a new component. Medyo may isip ko na ako kaya ako singot na singot. Um, cut list. Alright. Alam ko na ang available na kahoy o pine wood sa hardware na malapit dito sa amin ay 6 feet by 7.5 inches. So, I'll, I'll first create a sketch. The way Fusion 360 works is that you will first create a 2D drawing and then you will extrude it to make it 3D. So, so para makapagawa ka ng 2D, you will create a sketch and then after that you will choose a plane kung anong plane ba yung gusto mong gamitin and then i'm going to use a rectangular sketch so sa, sa kung napansin niyo hindi ako nagano ng measurement kasi gagawin ko yung ngayon pa lang so distance at alam ko dito is oh we'll first change this from millimeter to inches 72 or 6 feet. And then, sa lapad naman niya, 7.5. So, that's the available board ng pine wood sa hardware sa amin. After that, you will um, escape or tanggalin mo sa sketch mode. And then, press E to extrude it. Ang lapad na alam ko nun is 0.75 or 3.4. There you go. So, my board na ako. So, nag, what I'm planning to do is to join two boards sa gitna nung makikita niyo mamaya. So, I'll need another copy of this board. I'll just place it. There you go. So, from here. Oops. I thought I already copied. Copy. No, 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 no. That was wrong. Sorry. Just... Simply press C and then B. There you go. Uh, right, there you go. Set up bidaya. So after kung mas simulate yung pagju joint niya, kukunin ko na yung each part and then I move, I'll move it over to this board. So go to the actual design, get the base first. Move it. Ito yung base ng dollhouse. So, as you can see, there yung base. Yeah, ano ko lang yung orientation niya. Tatama ko lang. Oops. Sorry, that was wrong. And, uh, I think that's right. Okay. 
That's good enough for me. After that, tata aayusin ko lang yung position niya dun sa actual board ko. Move. Alright. So, iisa-isahin ko siya. So, imumove ko lahat yung roof, yung side panel, yung right panel, itong dividers, and after that, after kong magawa lahat ng yun, ito dapat yung kalalabasan niya. So, using that that method, I was able to determine kung ilan yung board na kailangan ko. At dito sa base sa, sa screenshot na to, ang kailangan ko is 4 boards nung size na yon 6 feet at 7.5 ang lapad. So, ay kailangan, ko niya, kailangan ko ay 4 boards na makukonsumo ng iba't ibang panels. Itong mga maliliit na, na components na to, siguro kaya na siya nung mga scrap dito. And that's it. Just a simple tip para ma-determine nyo kung gaano ba kadami yung kahoy or plywood na magagamit mo prior sa pagpunta sa, sa hardware. And thank you!